Basically, all mammals have GM1 ganglicide in their body. It's neuroprotective and neuroregenerative, so it protects our brain cells and can help um, nerve cells regrow. I have these lambs that look normal at birth. They grow pretty well for a while, and then they kind of start slowing down. They don't keep up with the other lambs, and eventually they start having a hard time getting around. And so I said, what's going on? So my husband was working um, in a lab where they were working on lysosomal storage diseases. So they called them over, um, and that's when they diagnosed the GM1 ganglicidosis in these lambs. These lambs are missing the enzyme that breaks it down, so they end up with 40 times normal levels of GM1 ganglicide. We work on um, getting the most GM1 ganglicide out of those tissues um, that will eventually hopefully go into the pharmaceutical market to treat patients. There's m multiple neurologic diseases that, you know, the GM1 is applicable for. Um, we started out with spinal cord injury and Parkinson's. Um, in 2012, the first Huntington's paper came out. Applications are for stroke. There's good research on stroke, traumatic brain injury. We were also approached um, about use for uh, glioblastoma, so brain tumors. We eventually would get this down to a, a white powder, and that's the that would be the pure GM1 ganglicide. Then it can be um, rehydrated for patient use. So we feel the best route of administration would be intranasal, a high pressure pump that would you know get it across the blood brain barrier into the brain where it needs to go for patients or if they're already symptomatic, uh, intrathecal, so actually right into the spinal fluid. We're coming back around to a lot more interest in natural products. Um, since we all have it in our body, it's not recognized, um, it's a natural molecule. Our body doesn't recognize it as something foreign, so there really aren't any side effects. The model we've been talking about is one lamb per patient per year. It would be a treatment. They would have to stay on the GM1 ganglicide since our bodies naturally break it down and recycle it. So you'd have to re-administer it probably daily. If you can make $500 on a feeder lamb um, and help somebody else out, it, it, there's a lot of people motivated to do this. I actually have more people interested in raising these lambs than we're able to accept because it's hard to keep the science and the sheep production at the same level. So um, the science is what's lagging right now. So we need to kind of push the science ahead further before we can take more sheep producers. And we would love somebody to partner with us to, to move this forward and get it to patients. Um, we know at least 20 families with Huntington's disease and it is truly the cruelest disease known to man. And it's just so hard watching symptoms and the disease and the demise of our friends as we know we have a very promising treatment.